Hey guys, welcome back to Tropical Aquatics. Today we are talking about um, um, material that people give you, information that is not true. An example that is very widely um, believed actually, is that a goldfish can live in a bowl. That is not true. And that fish grow to the size of their Okay. Closure. That's not true. They can goldfish never stop growing. Like snakes. Yeah. Snakes possess the ability to never stop growing. But they grow until they die. And after they get get to their species basically full length, they stop growing as much, but they still grow. They still they just grow slower. Yeah. So yeah, they do, especially at not writing them out, but retain pet stores such as Petco, PetSmart. No, oh, PetSmart, uh, Petland, but Petland shut down their fish department a few years ago because they got sued for it. Yeah, now they only have like the dogs and cats. Oh no, no, they, they got sued for the dogs too. Oh really? Yeah. Why? Now they're, now they're only rabbits and like ferrets and stuff and cats. Yeah. All right. So, yes. Yeah. So Petland's business is failing, of course. Is that why I see ads for them like all the time? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They were bought by Pet Supplies Plus too. Uh, How wonderful. Yeah. But I still get their ad on YouTube. Petland pets make <laughs> life better. <laughs> da, da, da. All right. So, um, if someone gives you information. That like, is like catch them all fishing. You can yeah. put you can put a crayfish in a cubic square. Yeah, do your research. That is that is a no go. They need a very long way of they moving need, area. Need at least like twenty gallons or something. Yeah. Okay. And my my cray my crayfish didn't like to eat anything, so it died because it didn't want to eat anything. And I tried everything. Wor live worms, dead worms, black worms, shrimp, pellets, flakes, everything, and she wouldn't eat anything. So, of your pet. Another false misconception is that goldfish can live in a pool or a small five-gallon tank. That is incorrect. No, that is very incorrect. Um, a fancy tail goldfish needs at least twenty gallons. A common and, and needs a forty. Yeah, a common goldfish or a um, what do they call it? Or a, comet. Yeah, com comet. Oh yeah, comet. Yeah, comet goldfish. They need at least forty gallons. So do your and um twenty for um the big ones like the comets, the commons. They need twenty gallons. Ryukins. for each edition. No, shabunkin, shabunkins. Yeah, Shibunkin. Shibunkin and gold. Um, all the fancy tail goldfish need ten gallons for each additional. So if you were to have a thirty gallon tank, you would have two goldfish. Another misconception, which isn't very enforced, but like because this fish can still live in these conditions, but a betta fish. I think that betta fish need. This is a. It's, it's really controversial. I think betas can live in a two and a half gallon. I think that's the minimum. I agree. I agree, definitely. Five gallon, but you know, five yeah, that in Canada five is five. five it's huge. Bigger show is better, but I think two and a half is fine. Two half is definitely fine. Because beta, however, betas can live in a bowl with no filter, and no heater, but surviving isn't. Yeah, as long as it's like a two and a half gallon bowl, which is a big bowl. Yeah, if it's a two and a half gallon bowl, knock yourself out. And it has a filter and a heater, then you're good. But, however, a one gallon or a five gallon would not be the best home for your fish. fish. What do you think is the most mistreated fish? Goldfish. Goldfish. Okay, besides goldfish. Betta fish. Betta fish. Betta fish. 
Besides beta fish. No. Mollies and platies. Oscar. No. Oscar. Oscar is well treated. You're just yeah, trying to draw you're just trying to draw attention to Oscar's ass. Good point. But also when when I was getting my Oscar, there was someone also trying to buy the Oscar I was trying to buy. And then we keep asking the same price. Eventually he was two dollars and I got him for eight dollars. Oh, nice. Just because, just because this guy was trying to buy it for his daughter for her 10-gallon community tank. Oh. I, was, I was not about to let that Oscar ruin this and die. And, uh, and my Oscar also had egg, but he's fine now. He had egg? He had egg, yes. I thought he said he had eggs on the globe. No, he, he was probably like a month old when he had it, to be honest. How old is he now? He's like a five months old, I think. I think he was born in like... He was past, I believe. I think he's about five months old because he's about six inches. So. Another, I have another misconception that I just thought of. People say... Oh, you can just run your tank overnight, or just run your tank for a week, and then you can get fish. No, you need to cycle your tanks. Or use Fritz Aquatics Turbo Start. Yeah, or, uh, yeah, or you can use Turbo Start. That's what I use for all my tanks, Turbo Start. Or I take, like, the beneficial filter media from one of my running tanks and just shake it off in there. Yeah, or you can put it in. Shake it off. 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 it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. it off. Shake 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 it Yes, API, my boys. API is great. I have their stress coat stuff. Oh, yeah, the for sh- if my African cod frog gets bloated, I have to give him a salt. That this thing has to be half salt water and half that. Oh, yeah, is it like um, uh, aquarium salt? Yeah, yeah. You, you got him. You got. I'm just gonna get salt water from my salt water aquarium downstairs. And then I'm going to put that in a bowl and fill it with a ton, like, a, well, not a ton, it's probably going to be like 10% API stress coat. Because the salt water and API stress coat kills bloating in any amphib- aquatic amphibian. So. Yeah, another good um, yeah. thing for treating your fish. It's, it, this literally treats everything. Or, Aquatic amphibian, yes, slash reptile. I, uh, I don't know, but I think it might. Be, but um, it's called EM. It treats mouth fungus, fin rot. It treats everything. Free. Oh yeah, I have some of that, but it's it's, it's like, in a, like a, it's a, it's a different brand. It's um made by my local fish store. Uh, okay. It's basically just ick medicine and every other medicine mixed together. It's, it's medicine without copper, so I uh, like that. What store do you use, like, locally? Seascape. Yeah, Seascape yeah. Aquarium and Pet Center. Yeah, me too. And Wet Pets, but Wet Pets yeah. doesn't really have all my wet needs. Pets sometimes. Not, I don't really use it anymore because Seascape is so much closer to my house. Uh, Seascape is a lot further than my house, but I just don't like Wet Pets. I think it's good. It's just, you know, they're... Most fish that I get from there don't do so well because their water quality are like so much different. So that's I know I, I bought a Jack Dempsey from there for my Oscar as a friend because he was beating up my Pleco, uh, and the Oscar and the Jack Dempsey died in like ten hours. Yeah, I, it wasn't from my Oscar because my Oscar was loving him. They were swimming together. Ten hours, boom, dead. Yeah, okay, so let's get back to topic now. All right. I think so there's going to be some crappy local fish stores and some good local fish stores. Yeah. So some will give you good information and some will give you bad information. I think you should go to 
a fish store that you trust. Like maybe you go there, I don't know, three, four, five, six times. See if their pet care is good. See if you can learn things from them. And that's what I would use instead of. Um, the only thing I have from uh, wet pets that is still living is my hornwort. That's it. Oh, I have a school of pepper, or a school of brass tetras in my 55, which I've had for years now. And from wet pets, and they're just thriving. They're doing great, and they're actually really hard to find too. Because you got lucky. Yeah, I got lucky. And they're doing really good actually. I also have a school of um, harlequin brass boars from there. That's too. Oh no, actually only two of them are left from that I've had for like, three years now, but. So, don't mistreat your fish. Another mistreated mm. fish or amphibian is the African clawed frog. You get them, you get them sent in the mail by grow a frog. And they say, you put them in this little tiny half gallon container and they say, you can, they can live in this forever. Yeah, maybe they can live in it as a tadpole. Yeah, they totally can. Mine was raised. Mine was supposed to be raised in my 10 gallon, but he didn't really like it in there, so I netted him out and put him in the one that he was supposed to, and now he's a frog and he's back in the 10 gallon. And he is thriving. He's growing fat. I, I'm not feeding him the grow frog food because it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. He's eating bug bites, fish food, oh, yeah, and, he's, and he's loving it. Even though they say, I think I know why they ch they say not to feed them fish food. It's because they grow too fast, and that means it will get to adult form, and it will be it will be less, not as hard for the animal to withstand diseases and illnesses and dying. So they want the animal to stay a child frog longer, so it can be more like. Let's say, like, oh my god, like, he's open to diseases, and when he's an adult, they're not as open to it, so, that is, that is my theory, and they, they should be sued, and even though African clawed frogs are illegal in 11 states, mostly in California, they, they're very invasive there. Has a grow a frog. So they've been sued several times and end them. Go sue them, please. I don't want to sue them. So just kill them. Just get them. And they can live for 25 years in the proper husbandry. How many African quad frogs do you have? I have one, but I'm going to get another albino one once my, once my frog gets big, big enough for one. But, and I think he is. So tomorrow I'm going to be making a trip. All right. Yeah. And have you had, I mean, you probably have, but have you had those in the past? Yeah, I think you have had I have had them in the past, yes. They've all escaped, though, because they didn't have a weight on the lid. Maze, can you stop? So, yeah, African clawed frogs, the most mistreated amphibian, kind of ever. They are the most hardy animal in the world, I believe. Like, I, like, no kidding, they are the hardiest animal in the world. So, yeah, let's, let's turn it back over to fish. Carlo, you want to go? Maze, Carlo? Well, I have an amphibian that is mistreated, I think, but for the most part. What uh, is? Axolotls. I don't think axolotls are very mistreated. I think they are a little bit because, um, especially if they're sold at a, at a pet store, with no, if they don't give you any information about it. Because people think, um, I think what would mean for someone off, they think, oh, I can keep it in this tank that's set to room temperature. Like, what's your room temperature? Like, 74 degrees? CS yeah, 74, 71 uh, around there. Yeah. And they won't you, you need to get it chilly for them, like 56, 55 to like 65, I think, is the temperature that you need for them. So th th they're, they're pretty cold. Like, you need to keep them at colder temperatures because they don't like the heat and I think the reason they're mistreated is because they look cool and people are like oh this is so cool I gotta put it in my 
two gallon tank, even though it's the size of my two gallon tank. And they are extinct in the wild. So like that even makes it even better, right? Because you're buying an animal that's extinct in the wild. I think they're saving it. Yeah, and they're introducing it again, but they all die. <laughs> but or they're wild, but in captivity they're Cause, like Yeah. Cause they only live in this one lake and it's yeah. a lake that is in Mexico City. And that lake is kind of very polluted right now, so you can't really have axolotls living in that, that condition. And there are also many um, salamanders, and when they're in their larva stage, their larval stage, they look like axolotls. Like, um, there's one salamander, the tiger salamander, that looks exactly like an axolotl. But when it's there, and they're commonly missold when they have their gills still. As axolotls, they pay them for money. These people get tiger salamanders that they don't want, and they just think it just lives in the water forever, but eventually they won't actually be able to swim because they'll get too fat because most of them get chubby eventually. And they're more like, you more need to treat them like long frogs. Yeah. They are long frogs. Yeah, yeah they are. They are long frogs. I'll give you false information about that too. But um, let's see. Um, I don't think that um, like those chain pet stores would give you much information about um, water parameters either. Unless it's a good one. There are some good pet stores that are like the chain pet stores that might give you some good information on it, but um, I went to a, um, I don't know if it was a pet smart or a pet co. And, um, they gave me, they said that the people first is, which I mean, I can see how you would mess that up, but. I don't know why that even relates to this, but. <laughs> Carlo, I think we should end it there. I think so. Yeah, I mean, we covered, I think we covered most of it. Yes. All right. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll have another one out on Friday. And Adam, would you do the honors? Remember to keep those nitrates, pulses. Nitrite ammonia and pH kind of low and all the other things low. Tropical aquatics.